Cleveland, this is big news, not me at the piano, mm -mm -mm. but for the first time, Jason Mraz is performing an orchestral concert. That's right, and he set his eye on Cleveland. And guess who's going to tell us about it? Barry Gable from Live Nation. Right, Barry? I absolutely am, David. Thank you, and thanks for allowing us to come down today. I have some fabulous people with me. Liza Grossman, our founder and music director of the Contemporary Youth Orchestra right here, Alexis Wilson, and I have my friend um, Lucas Ty. also. The, Lucas plays oboe. No. No, I have it backwards. Well, you'll tell me. Right. Liza, tell me a little bit about CYO and how it started and what our mission is. Uh, the Contemporary Youth Orchestra is the uh, first and only youth orchestra in the country that is desi designated towards the study and performance of, of new music. And our goal is to give our students um, uh, an education in the entertainment industry as a whole so that they have the confidence and knowledge to be able to create their own careers. That's great. And, and I actually am a board member. Right. I, and I'll make it really clear, Live Nation is not producing the show. This is really a benefit for Jason Mraz. And what's so exciting, for CYO. it's just so exciting that we sat with him in, in June, July of, la of this year. And he just was overwhelmed by this. And we brought him some students. And we did. And he went crazy over it. Lucas, how long have you been a, a member? So I've been a member of CYO uh, for five years, starting when I was eighth grade, and now I'm a senior now. So it's been a long time coming. And so you had the opportunity to play with a number of the people like Melissa Etheridge right. and Kenny, Kenny right. Loggins. What was that experience like for you? So those were the last two concerts we had, and I was really interested to see how the two artists approached their music. So Kenny Loggins liked to be very detail-oriented, and Melissa Etheridge was very, she was going with the vibe. And, it's, and it was really interesting to see how um, as soon as we got on stage, their eyes just lit up when they heard the orchestra with their music and their creation. So you had that great opportunity to already yeah. play. This is a new experience for you, Alexis. What, what, were you, what were your thoughts when we announced that Jason was going to play with CYO? Well, as this is my first year, I was, I was so starstruck. I didn't know what to believe. <laughs> I was just in disbelief. My jaw dropped. Like, I couldn't. I've listened to him all my life. He's just, he's so amazing, and I'm so excited to be able to have this experience. And in fact, we had got a great picture of you. Unfortunately, we don't have it here, but we had a phenomenal picture of you, a yeah. uh, close-up of your face going. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We actually <laughs> sent it to Jason and his management team, um, and he was just overwhelmed. One of the things that um, our organization does um, is we have this incredible relationship with Tri-C. Liza, this was really a cool thing that was able to, we were able to have this sort of collaboration with them. What is that all about? Um, uh, CYO recently moved to uh, Tri-C Metro and this gives us the opportunity to work uh, alongside their Creative Arts Academy and uh, uh, offer music education and arts education to uh, all parts of all kids from Greater Cleveland. Um, but last year at the uh, on our show with Kenny Loggins, we were able to partner with their um, vocal arts department and invite a lot of these, God, probably 50 yeah. singers to come and participate in the concert with us. Well, what's so cool about this, we announced the first show, June 8th, right. to um, Jason's fans, CYO, friends and family, and we went on sale on Monday, on Tuesday. Tuesday. And in less than one day, the show sold out. Jason was incredibly giving, and he said, let's do another show on <laughs> Sunday, uh, 4 o'clock. So tickets for all of those shows, the June 8th and June 9th show, are on sale right now. You can get them by going to cyorchestra.org slash tickets. The shows will be amazing. He has never performed this show anywhere. He's not done an orchestra performance, and this is a once-in-a-lifetime show. If you don't get your ticket soon, you're going to be sold out, that's for sure. <laughs> thank you for coming down today, and thank you for New thank Day you Cleveland. Very much. Thank um, you. Thank you. you guys are going to have a phenomenal time.